Hello students, today I am going to deliver lecture on the topic of race. The This game of race is a game of two players in which the players are competing to, with each other to reach the finish line first. Means the player who reaches the finish line will be the winner and another one will be the loser. So here I am considering that the player 1 is P1 and the player 2 is P2. Okay, these two players can be two firms who are developing a vaccine and the firm who developed the vaccine first will be the winner. And these two firms can be two authors who is writing a book on the same topic and the author who write the book first will be the winner Another and another one will be the loser. So here in this game, this game of phrase we can describe as a function of g i okay and this race game is an extensive game means the player will take their action sequentially the player one will take the action first then next in the next iteration the player two will take the action and after then again the player one will take the action so this is a sequential game okay so player take their actions sequentially one after another so this race game we can describe as GI. GI means what? The, the game in which the player I will take the action first. Okay. And in this game take two arguments as input that is TI and TJ. TI is what? TI is the number of steps. Is the number of steps by which the player I is away from the finish line and these are what the TJ TJ is number of steps by which the player J is away from the finish line so this is how we can represent a race game so this race game is describing that the player I will take the action first and the player I is is away from the finish line with TI steps and the player 2 is away from the finish line with TJ steps so if I write G123 means what? The player 1 will take the action first and the player 1 is 2 step away from the finish line and the player 2 is 3 step away from the finish line. Okay. So now next we come to the point of cost. Cost to take a step. Okay. So here I have described the cost using a cost function. This cost function takes the number of steps as input and determines the cost for that number of steps. So C is a function here that takes number of steps as input and determines the cost for that number of steps. Okay. So if I write C1 means what this is the cost for one step if i write c2 then this is the cost of two steps okay now in this uh, in this game uh, the two firms are competing with each other for the developing or uh, for the development of the vaccine so if any firm want to develop a vaccine first then he has to take more number of steps in the same duration right if any firm want to reach the finish line first then he has to take more number of steps in the same duration right but whenever a firm takes more number of steps in the same duration then he has to invest more money he has to invest more money for example for an example if a firm is developing a vaccine and he has to uh, and he want to develop this vaccine in a less time period then he has to hire more number of uh, employees and he has to take uh, purchase so many uh, so many facilities for the research right so definitely if a firm takes more steps in the less duration then he has to invest more money so if i assume if i assume that the firm one is three step away from the finish line then tell me in how many ways a firm can reach to the finish line 
so one one way can be this 1 plus 1 plus 1 means what the firm one is taking one step at a time okay this can be the way what can be the other way so the, in the other way the firm can take two step at a time and then one step at a time so this can be the way to reach the finish line and what can be the uh, or other uh, ways the if firm one take three steps at a time then in the in the first step only in, in the in, in his first chance the firm will reach to the finish line right now which one is better here definitely this this uh, case the firm is taking less time period and in this the firm is taking more time and in this one the firm is taking the highest time period okay now which one is best if i uh, if i talk about the cost then this one is the best why this one is the best because uh, the firm is taking their steps one after another okay and the cost of taking one step is less but the cost of taking more than one step at a time then it will be more most co uh, more costlier so means what if i compare c1 and c2 then i can write 2 of c1 is less than c of 2 means what if you take two steps one at a time then it will be less costlier in comparison with the strategy in which player is taking two steps at a time so okay now we solve a race game of race using a example so here i am taking g1 1 1 okay so how can we describe this game so this is a game in which the player 1 will take the action first and the player 1 is one step away from the finish line and the player 2 is also one step away from the finish line now so in this game the player 1 will take the action first right so now tell me how many actions are available to the player 1 so in this case the player can take either zero steps or can take the one step okay either he will not take any action or he will take the action of step 1 so here what actions are available to to the player here the number of steps that he can take okay so here two actions are available or uh, one is zero means the player will not take any action and the one means the player one will take one step okay now what would happen here if player one take one step so if player one take one step means what he has reached the finish line he has reached the finish line and definitely he will get some pay off here right i am assuming that the win amount here is win amount here is capital v okay now what investment he has done to reach the finish line to reach the finish line the player one has taken the one step so means what if v is the win amount and uh, c is the investment so what will be the profit here so profit will be what the win minus cost total cost so this is the win amount this is the cost so if v v is the win amount and cost here in this case he has he is taking one step so cost of one step is what c1 because c is the cost function who determines the cost of a step so what will be the payoff of the player one the payoff of the player one will be v minus c of 1 now what will be the payoff of the player two because the player two has uh, has not got chance and the player one has reached the game so definitely the player two will be the loser and he will get zero here in this case 
okay now what would happen if player 1 don't take any step in his turn so who will take the action next now definitely this is, this is an extensive game so after taking an action by the player 1 the next chance will be of player 2 so the in his chance the player 1 has not taken any step okay after that uh, the player 2 will take the action now we will reach to the another sub game so by taking that action we w after taking that action we will reach to the another game in which the player 2 will take the action first right so we have reached to g2 g2 means in this sub game the player 2 will take the action first now how many steps with how many steps both the players are away from the finish line so the steps are same because the player one has not taken any steps so steps are same as before so both are one step away from the finish line now at this point how many steps uh, how many actions are available to the available to the player two since the player two is one step away from the finish line so he can take one step or he cannot take uh, no, uh, or may, maybe he he don't take any step so again the player 2 also having two available actions one is 0 another one is 1 okay so if i consider that g2 is taking the action uh, the, uh, of 1 means he is taking one step so definitely the player 2 will reach the finish line because he is one step away from the finish line right now and he is taking one step definitely the player 2 will reach the finish line okay and he will be the winner and the player 1 will be the loser so definitely the player 1 will get 0 because he is the loser and player 2 is the winner so he will get the win amount but we need to subtract the cost of the steps which the player 2 has taken so we need to subtract c1 here because c1 is the cost of one step now what would happen if g2 don't take any step so previously you can see the g1 has not taken any step and we reach to this game and again g2 is not taking any step right so in this way we can enter into an infinite loop right so uh, to avoid this problem we can assume that if in any two consecutive turns if nobody take any action then we will consider it as the end of the game and the payoff will both the players will be zero here because nobody is winner both are not getting anything and both have not taken any action also so the payoff will be zero zero because nobody has taken any decision right so this is the game tree of this race game now we need to find out the equilibrium of this game sub we need to find out the sub game perfect perfect equilibrium sub game perfect equilibrium to find out the sub game perfect equilibrium we know there is a method called backward induction which we can apply to find out the sub game perfect equilibrium of a game so we start with the sub game of length one okay and then in the next iteration we will move to the sub game of length 2 and we will tread again and again until we reach the root of the game tree okay so in the first step we will solve the sub game of length 1 so you can see here this is the game of length 1 this is the game of length 1 so we need to solve it first okay so if you look at this sub game if player 2 if player 2 take the action of 1 he will get some positive value right but if you take 0 he will get 0 so which one is better for the player 2 the action of 1 will be the better in comparison with the action of 0 right so output of this sub game is what the player 2 will take the action of 1 right so this is the this is the 
the action the player 2 will choose in this sub game and we know the payoff now we will now in the next iteration we will try to solve the sub game of length 2 so this is the sub game of length 2 so in this sub game in this sub game the player one is taking the action first right and uh, he is having two actions available zero and the one if the player one take one he will get something positive v minus c of one we know here the win amount is greater than the cost of one so definitely this will be some positive value right but if we take zero then we will reach to the sub game g211 and we know the output of this g211 the output of g211 is the player one will get zero right so we need to compare this we need to compare this value with this value right because if the player one take one he is getting v minus c1 if we take 0 we will reach to this sub game and we know the output of this sub game the output of this sub game here is 0 for the player 1 so we need to compare these two values so which one is best this one is best right so means the player 1 will take this action right so what is the sub game perfect equilibrium of this game so sub game perfect equilibrium of this in the first chance the player one is taking one step and if, if and the player two in his first chance is taking the action of one and who will be the winner here the player one will be the winner right <coughs> so output of this sub game perfect equilibrium, equilibrium is what the player one take the step one in his first chance and will become winner so this is how we solve a race game let consider one more scenario g1 1 2 so we know the cost of uh, 2 of c1 is less than c of 2 okay this is an assumption which we are considering in this game okay now in this game the player one is the player who is taking the action first and he is one step away from the finish line and the player two is two step away from the finish line okay now the uh, to the player one only two actions are available the one is zero another one is one okay because he is one step away from the finish line so he's having two actions available available zero and the one if player one take one step means what he has arrived the finish line and uh, he is the winner so definitely the player one will get the payoff v as a win amount but he has taken the one step so we need to subtract the cost of this one step so what will be the resultant payoff for the player one it's v minus c of one now what will be the payoff for the player two because the player two here is a loser so he will get nothing means the payoff will be zero for the player two now we move to the another direction uh, to the another action which is zero if player one take zero means he don't take any action so we will reach to the another sub game in which who will take the action the player 2 will take the action because this is not the end of the game this is not the end of the game so here after taking the action of 0 the player 2 will take the action 
so we will reach to the game c g2 g2 why because 2 will take the action first in this game and uh, because the player 1 has not taken any step so the steps will be same both are away from the uh, finish line with one and the two steps respectively as before now the player 2 is having two actions available the 0 sorry 0 1 and 2 why two, three actions are available because he is two step away from the finish line so he can take two steps one steps or maybe he cannot take maybe he don't take any step so there are three possibilities we have now if the player to take two steps definitely the player two will reach the finish line because this is the end of the game and he has reached the finish line so the what pay of the player two will get because he's the winner so he will get the win amount right but we need to subtract what we need to subtract the cost of these two steps right so in this if uh, G player 2 take step 2 he will reach the finish line and he will become winner and player 1 will be the loser and he will get 0 payoff and what will be the payoff for the player 2 v minus c of 2 now in this case when the player 2 take one step in the next uh, after taking that action of one step we will reach to the another sub game of g1 because uh, alternatively alternatively the players are taking their actions so in the previous one the player 2 has taken the action now in the next one the player 1 again take the action now how many with how many steps the players are uh, away from the finish line since the player 2 has taken player 1 has taken zero step and the player 2 has taken one step now with how many steps the players are away from the finish line the player one is still uh, one uh, step away from the finish line and the player two is also one step away from the finish line and we already have solved this game we know the output of this game in the previous slide i have solved this numerical the g111 and we know the output of this game the output of game is the player one winner and player 1 will get uh, v minus c1 and the player 2 will get 0 right so this is the output of this game now what would happen if player 2 takes 0 steps so as i discussed previously that if in the two consecutive turns nobody take any action then we we need to consider it as the end of the game and both will not be will both will not be the winner here and uh, both will get zero because nobody has taken any step so this is the game tree for the game g112 now we need to apply the backward induction method to find out the sub game perfect equilibrium of, the, of this game so we start with the sub game of length one okay so this one is the actually this one is actually the uh, okay so we know the output of g11 so that is why i am not solving this this game because i know the output the output is what the player one is winner and the player one will get v minus c1 and the player two will get zero okay so i am not solving this game because we previously we already have solved this game okay now we solve this game g212 now which one is best for the player 2 here this is the uh, this is the chance of player 2 right the player 2 is taking an action here so which action is best for the player 2 here if the player 2 take action of 2 he will get something positive right v which is v minus c2 now if we take 1 he will get 0 because we know the output of g11 if player 2 take one step he will reach to this sub game and we know the output of this sub game the output of this sub game is the player 2 will get 0 and player 1 will get v minus c1 now if player 2 take 0 then both will get 0 okay now which one is best this one this one or the this one which one is best 
this one is best right because this is greater than 0 and rem in the remaining cases the player 2 is getting 0 so player 2 will choose this one ok now we move for a uh, uh, backward in direction towards the root node and we will solve the game g1 1 2 now as per this game uh, the player 1 is taking the action here and he is having two actions available available 0 and 1 if, if the player 1 take 1 he will get something positive v minus c1 but if we take 0 we will reach to this sub game and we know the output of this sub game the output of this sub game is the output of this sub game is 0 comma v minus c2 the player 1 will get 0 and the player 2 will get v minus c2 ok so tell me which one is best for the player 1 this one or the this one so in this game he is getting 0 and in this game he is in this action he is getting something positive so something is something positive is better than 0 so definitely the player 1 will take this action as uh, uh, so the uh, will choose this action as his strategy and what will be the equilibrium of this game the equilibrium of this game is uh, so sub game perfect equilibrium of the game is player 1 is winner and he will take one step in his first chance so this is how we solve a rice game thank you